Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay. I'm back with another video. Y'all, I want to talk to y'all today about grown men versus grown boys. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of talk going on on the internet um, about relationships and how we as men and women deal with relationships, how we deal with, with each other, um, what our thoughts about each other, what are our, our experiences with each other. And what I have found with um, with all of these conversations going on on the internet about relationships and dealing with each other within them, I I have seen a lot of immature talk, very low, what they call low vibrational speech of, of how we deal with ourselves. And one of the main viewpoints is coming from what they call the manosphere. Um, here is my take and my experience and even my wisdom and understanding and knowledge of that on this, from, from the man, from the female to the man perspective, what I have learned is this, um, there is a difference between somebody who is grown, who is, who is fit. Well, I say it's, it's a difference between someone who is physically grown and another person who's physically grown, but also have grown mentally and emotionally. Cause there are people in the world who, uh, they are adults by law and by age. They are adults. Um, but yikes that mind and that spirit and when you are dealing with someone who is completely and totally immature um when you're dealing with someone who does not deal with past hurt properly when you are someone who's dealing, I don't want to use this word because it's being overused, um, who has dealt with their trauma, who has not dealt with trauma, and you put a microphone in their face, uh, there is chaos and destruction that comes with that, okay? Um, when you are dealing with someone who does not want to grow up. They stay. What I mean by this, by that is this, when they see what it requires to be an adult, when they see what it requires to be, to have the mindset that you need to have in order to deal with that life. A lot of times people have a tendency to pull back because they see it requires them to give something of themselves that they don't want to give. It requires them to have a different spirit and a different way about thinking about things and doing things. And they oftentimes don't want to do that because it requires too much. It requires more of their time. It requires more of their energy. It requires more of their spirit. And when it, and, and all of that is, is, what it does, it means is, is now it's time for you to really get an understanding of who God is. It requires you to understand who he is, what he's about, and what he is doing and needs to do in your life. And everybody don't want to do that because in the midst of all of that, that means you have to get away, get, have, have to be stripped of people, places, and things in your life that don't have that have no, that, that shouldn't be there. That's what I mean by immature people who don't want to be stripped of those things that are not moving them forward. 
or they don't want to be stripped of those things that they know are toxic, but they have become so conditioned to having it in their life. They don't want to, they don't want to let it go. Now, when you are dealing with people who are dealing with past hurt and trauma, the many of them, I'm going to use this again. Many of them have been conditioned to just accept things. That's the way they are. They have been, they have accepted that pain is love, even though it's not, they have, they have accepted that people will always, people, men are meant to cheat. And that's I always, that's not true. All men don't cheat. All men are not dogs. All women are not whores. All women are not liars. And they have been conditioned to think this because of what they've, they've gone through in their lives, the pain and the suffering that they had to go through. And it's, and they have been, they have this mindset that you just have to do whatever that person in your life says, because it's not going to get any better than this. You just have to submit yourself to that. That is not true. It is not true. It is not true. When you deal with all of that stuff, when you're dealing with all of that hurt and pain, you have to get healed from that stuff. The, you don't want to be a part of the of of the that group of people who pass on the hurt and pain, who pass on the disappointment, who pass on shame and 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 just all of these this negativity, all of this toxicity. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that person. Every woman is not going to break your heart. And I know a lot of men have had their hearts shattered in a trillion pieces, but every woman is not the same. Thank you, Jesus. Every woman does not have the mindset that a lot of these young ladies and these older women even out here have. They are not going to hurt you. They are not going to, they are not going to bring stress into your life. They're not going to bring pain into your life. They are not going to bring frustration and agitation and anger into your life. That is just not how they do. That ain't how we get down. And as men do not, you, you got to, got to get to a place where you accept that a lot of these young, these grown boys out here that's got these microphones in their face and getting all these views. A lot of these kids, I'm going to just call it like it is a lot of these kids are spewing stuff that they either don't have a clear understanding of or have not dealt with, and we are giving them our attention. And there are those who are giving them their attention and, and are sitting back saying, he's, you know what, what he's saying is right. That's true. It's not, and it's not right. When you are a grown man, you have truly and earnestly dealt with the pain and the hurt from your past. You have truly and earnestly gotten through the drama, gotten through the trauma, gotten through all of that stuff, and you didn't do it alone because it was God that was pushing you through it, that was helping you through it and moving you through it. No matter which direction that that hurt and pain came from. God helped you. God helped you. God helped you. And he's going to continue to help you. You, there are a lot of grown men that got a microphone to their face. And they're trying to help these other people, help these other young men to see, look, man, I get the hurt, I get the pain, and I get what you're seeing in society. But listen, let's do it like this. Do it this way. Let's not keep the toxicity going. Let's not keep the negativity going. Let's not keep the ignorance and the immaturity going. Let's move this way.
Let's move this way. They know how to treat a woman. They know how to deal with women properly. They know how. They've made mistakes. They done did stuff. They was out there at one point. But you know what? They grew up. It, can, it comes a place in every person's life, male and female, where you got to make a decision. All right? Are we going to keep this going or are we going to go over here? Because what's going on over here ain't working. So I got to make a decision. I have to go over here where it does work, where it, I, I, I'll come out on the winning side for real, for real, without swindling anybody, without manipulating anybody, without lying to anybody, without controlling anybody. It working, it's working better over here. That's the mindset you got to get. That's the heart and mind that you have to have. Those are the men that will lead you in the right direction. They'll show you where to go. They'll show you what to do. There are grown little girls and grown, grown, grown women out here. We'll talk about them next time. But <laughs> that those grown women will show you how to be a lady. They'll show you how to carry yourself. They'll show you how to deal with men the right way. We got to we gotta make a change, y'all. Because we can't keep spewing this stuff that's out here. We cannot keep spewing the stuff that's out here. We got to, we got to, we got to heal for real. And we got to grow up. We got to quit sitting in that stuff that that has been having us bound. Okay, that girl broke your heart back in high school. Baby, that is that was high school. That was high school. I know it still hurt. I know it hurt. But at the same time, at the same token, honey, that was high school. You an adult now. It's time to move forward. It's time to heal it and move forward. Go forward. Stop staying in the back. What's back there? What you need that's in the back? Let's go forward. We've been in this one spot too long. Too long. We got to do better than this. We got to think higher than this. It's up to us. We, I can't force it on you. I'm just putting the information out here. One, it, we can really go for it once we give our lives to God, though. Because he'll show you how to navigate through this life the right way. He going to put a mirror to your face, make you deal with you. And then he going to put a mirror to other people to put that mirror up to you, showing you other people and how to deal with them properly. And then the right way in the right attitude and the right way of thinking. Excuse me, I'm sorry. But it's time to go for it, y'all. This got to stop. I love you guys so, so much. That's why I make these videos. Listen, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you babies next time. Bye.